This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Adrian Whitsett. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Cincinnati police officers are investigating an early morning shooting near the University of Cincinnati that sent a woman to the hospital. She was shot on McMillan Street near Vine, ran a mad frog for help. She is expected to make a full recovery. Police told us they know who the shooter is, have not said yet if they made an arrest. A Covington man faces felony charges after a woman's body was found in a front yard. 42-year-old Lee Scalf is charged with tampering with evidence and abuse of a corpse. Investigators found the body of 59-year-old Judy Bell lying in front of this home on West 7th Street late Saturday morning. Witnesses told us they saw a man dragging her from inside this building. So far, Scalf is not charged with murder. Today is the deadline to register to vote in the upcoming Ohio primary election, even though that ballot will be split in two. You can register at your County Board of Elections office or online at the Secretary of State website. Early voting in Ohio starts tomorrow. State House and State Senate candidates will not be on this ballot due to the ongoing battle over Ohio's redistricting maps. And the plan to close two ramps on I-7175 in Covington has been postponed. Crews were supposed to close the Pike Street entrance ramp to 7175 North and the exit ramp from the interstate to 5th Street tonight at 9. The Transportation Cabinet, however, announced this afternoon that this will not happen today. Instead, they will announce a new date for the closure sometime this week. We'll keep you posted. This is part of the $8.8 .8 million Texas turnaround project that will hopefully make the Brent Spence Bridge a bit safer for drivers. Raven. All right, everybody. So yes, clouds are hanging around, but we should see some clearing just a little bit. That will help to warm our temperatures to the mid to upper 50s for today. Then for tonight, only dropping to the mid 40s. So uh, a mild night, at least compared to what we have been seeing over the past couple of days. Chances of rain, though, return for our Tuesday, Tuesday morning into the afternoon. And then again for our Wednesday, Wednesday's temperatures into the mid 60s. But by the time we do get to Friday, any leftover moisture well, that could actually turn into some snowflakes for us, but then after that clearing out and we are seeing warmer temperatures heading into next week.